Okay. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Clutcher's Vault. My name's Mike. Uh, this is a bit of a serious video, and uh, this is not, like, you know, me trying to act like, you know, it's the end of the world or, oh, we're all doomed. This is supposed to be a very, this is a very serious and positive video. It was, I want it to be positive. Right now, there is a terrible issue plaguing the world, and I hate using that word because this is, if anything, this is not an actual plague. This is not going to be the end of the world. This is, it's nothing like that. In fact, I don't even want to use those kind of words. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not even going to use the word of what this actually is. You all know what it is. I'm going to maybe use a different phrase for, for the rest of this video so that way I don't get YouTube mad at me for using that word. So, because I like Metroid so much, we're going to call it the X Parasites. So, as we all know, right now we are experiencing a bit of a... Uh, I don't want to use any, any, anything negative, but this is obviously a very serious situation. You know, every uh, countries all over the world are taking the proper precautions. We're, they're doing your, we're all doing our best to make sure that we can, you know, um, answer this and accommodate and, you know, come up with a solution for this whole thing. We, we want it to end as soon as possible, but you have to realize this is not going to happen overnight. I do personally see that this is going to be resolved maybe in a few months, at least as far as like you know the whole world being, you know, in a, like not, not riding. No one's riding right now. At least I hope not. But I think uh, just panic the fear i think it's all gonna die down in a few months you know like I, it's it really is sad but the main thing and i have to give a lot of credit to a youtuber that i follow i know i'm insignificant to him that he doesn't he, i'm sure he's no idea who i am clearly but um i'm i mentioned it before on my channel but rudy from alpha investments in a lot of his videos over the past like couple weeks he's been focusing on an expression he said stay the course and this is not just about the about the ex parasites that are plaguing this world right now. This is about everything. There's gonna uh, uh, he talked about Magic the Gathering cards, you know, similar to how I talk about Yu-Gi-Oh and Pokemon. And he does mention that although there's gonna be a lot of times where there's bottoming out points for the card market, vintage cards, you know, like uh, he had he he understands this. He's you know he is a he is as he quotes he's not a professional, but he he is obviously very well. He, he's very knowledgeable in the financial world, and he does mention that. You have to understand it. It's going to be tough. It's going to be slow. It's going to, we're going to potentially even go into like a recession, especially with the X parasites issue right now. But as he says, stay the course. And I agree with that. I have to give Rudy a lot of credit for really trying to, to, to give that positivity to the world right now. Because the world really right now needs positivity. Um, I think the world needs success stories regarding the X parasites. We got to start hearing about celebrities who are getting past this because right now all we're hearing about is how people are like the numbers of people succumbing to this are increasing but you have to realize that that's just because they're announcing it if it was the the actual flu like because i mean the flu's bad i don't think people realize how bad the flu is I, I thought i had the flu maybe three times in my life but the more i think about it i think there were just really really bad colds or bad stomach bugs stomach virus but i mean the more i think about it i don't think i really truly had the flu before People get past the flu. It's it's tough, and the flu can take its toll in the world. It really does. But if they were to actually give us those numbers of what the flu does to, to the world every single day, people probably wouldn't believe it. But it's the truth. So people have to realize that just right now, because the ex-parasite numbers are being shown to us on the news and the media, it creates a lot of fear. It creates a lot of negativity. And I think it's what's you know causing everything right now to kind of like slump down. And it is very unfortunate. But again, I have, to, I have to reiterate, as Rudy from Alpha Investments would say, we all have to stay the course. We have to not lose focus, not get caught up in the moment. We have to we have to get through this. But you can. It's just just live your everyday life. Don't be stupid. You know, take care of yourself. Like if you like if if you can work home from work home from work, do that. You know, I I know there's a lot of people out there, especially people who aren't salaried, people who work you know, hour, hourly jobs, it's going to be tough. It, it might be, I mean, I don't know if it would be exactly like it, but it might be like 2008, 2009. We had a recession, people. I don't, a lot of people don't, I, I think, forget that. We had a recession and it was, it was tough times, but we got through it. You know, humans, even like right now, just with, with everything that's going on, although we, we might come to a point where we have some downtime, uh, we as humans are so ingenuitive. We can get past these things. We can rebuild. We can get out of recessions. We've done it before. It may take a few. It may take some time, though. But you have to realize it's. I don't. I don't see this as like anything that's going to take more than like a couple years. I think the uh, the ex parasite 
uh, the fear of them will probably probably linger for about like another 12 months, maybe tw up to 24 months. We're gonna move on. Life will continue. You just you need positivity. You have to stay the course, and you just have to you have to do what's best for you right now. Don't panic. Just be smart. Take care of yourself. If you are sick, go to the hospital. Please don't. And again, if you really, like, if you think you're sick, don't try to be the brave one. You know, be smart and be practical. That's what we. Be, that's that's what we as people need right now. Not just in the United States, all over the world. We all have to be smart. We all have to be practical. We have to. We have to acknowledge what the media is telling us. But, but you, you can't let you can't let fear take over. It's gonna because it, that's where things are really gonna get bad. That's. I mean. It, Gosh, that, that's probably the thing that's probably the worst. That Right now, I'm not afraid of anything right now as far as the ex-parasites. What I'm more afraid of is everyone else because they're the ones who are... They're the ones that are scaring me. They're the ones that are scaring me with just how... I don't want to say they're being impractical, but just because of like the, it's somewhat chaotic right now. I'm more afraid of people than I am of the ex-parasites. I'm more afraid of what people are capable of when they are... When, when they're afraid, you know, we because we, we don't want rioting, we don't want looting, we don't want, we don't want any, any, anyone to hurt each other, and uh, so, yeah, I'm just going to try to wrap this up and say again, you got to be, be practical, be smart, stay positive, and Rudy, God bless you for saying this, but it's true, we got to stay the course, we will get past this.